and identifying billions of people and their movements in real time. There are already apps like IBM's Digital Health Pass and Clear's Health Pass that envision a world where our biometric ID will be linked via our smartphones to our health data in order to grant or deny access from public spaces and public events. Jane opens the Clear app and verifies her identity with a photo and real-time health insights. Clear's developed touchless technology can take her temperature and confirm Jane is Jane, so she can walk in with confidence. Your COVID-19 status will efficiently display as green, amber, or red, dependent on your test results. This allows us to go about our daily activities in a safer way. We can all use Health Passport Ireland in many ways, such as travel, hospitality, education, healthcare, construction, offices, entertainment, visits, and much, much more. Once the COVID vaccines are widely distributed, it would simply be a question of linking one's vaccination record to the Health Pass app to prevent the unvaccinated from accessing any given space. And while this future, sold through glossy corporate advertising but rejected by the vast majority of the public, may seem like a science fiction dystopia, such systems are already being used to control the movements of people in China where access to certain buildings or the ability to leave one's own neighborhood can be restricted to those whose phone-based apps show a green immunity status. Worse, the COVID vaccine presents governments, intelligence agencies, and corporations that have a direct interest in suppressing dissent, monitoring dissidents, and controlling their populations with the perfect opportunity to make such systems a permanent fixture of daily life. After the immediate threat of the declared public health crisis subsides, the public is already being warned that these apps will be transitioned seamlessly into general monitoring of the population. Well, during the summer spike, Palm Beach County launched something called a Combat COVID app. They spent a huge chunk of CARES Act money to do it. The app can alert you if you come into contact with a COVID positive person. The problem is it only works if there's widespread use and there isn't. So was this just a big waste of money? Palm Beach County officials would not make anybody available for an interview for this story, but I did get a written statement from a county spokesperson who tells me they will still have use for this app even after the pandemic is over. He says they plan on transitioning its functions to be a more general community app. As chilling as these immunity passports opening the door for governments to implement persistent digital tracking of their entire population is, it represents only the most visible privacy invasion that is being enacted on the back of this unprecedented vaccine rollout.